Hey you guys, today I'm going to talk about Mary to Medicine Houston, episode 2. This episode was about, you know, different cultures and, you know, them celebrating different cultures. And I love that, like I said, this show, it shows a lot different than the other one. Like, I really, really like this one. But let's talk about some things that happened before we um, get into the events. So... You know, they have Dr. Monica consulting a patient about a block artery. I thought that was cool to acknowledge. Also, we saw that Rachel, like I said, is a nursing student. So um, she ended up having a study group. They showed her, friend, her and her friends having a study group. The mama come in, want to come up in there and turn up. I thought that was really dope. dope. But I like her because I was like, you know, she said that, like, you know, a lot of people that look at her and just think, oh, pretty, and they think she's not that smart, but she shows that she's smart, she's on the dean list, stuff like that. I thought that was really important to show, like, just because she's beautiful doesn't mean that she can't be smart at the same time. I'm sorry, I like when my nurses be cute and young and smart, because it just makes you feel at ease to me to go to the hospital, so I like that. Um... They could just be relatable. So that's why, like, when I see young, pretty doctors, I just be like, they just relatable. Um, Dr. Erica, her and her husband talk about her wanting to wait and to have kids or whatever because of her career. And she talks about uh, freezing her eggs or having a surrogate. He really don't seem like he down with that, but he loves her, so he going to be cool with that. And I'm like, this is a recipe waiting for disaster because they want two different things. Um, Dr. Sean goes to Rachel's house and they talk about um, what happened at Cindy's party. And Sean was like, I told you don't go. I told you don't deal with that lady. And I said, see, you should have listened. You should have listened. But you want to be the nice girl. So that's cool. Then we get introduced to Dr. Ellie. I love me some Dr. Ellie. Oh, my God. These three women are my favorite three because they just relatable. They just down to earth. They just seem they just seem cool. All three of these women. And Dr. Uh, Ellie, I'm going to call her a doctor. I don't care what none of these other women call her. I don't know. But, hey, that's what it says on the screen. That's the title I'm going to give her. And she helps people. She, I don't care what they say. But she's an ideologist. And I when this fourth episode, when I just watched it, um... I was like, dang, that's what, oh my God, that's one something that just seemed very interesting that I would want to do because I love medicine. If you really, really know me, I love medicine. I went to school for to be a medical assistant, but then something happened in my family at the end when I was doing my externship. So it was hard for me to go back. Then I ended up going to be a CNA, and I was like, oh, my heart too big to be working in a convalescent home. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> so, um, because the way they were saying, you know, the way you have to care for the patients and stuff like that, and I don't want to hurt people. Even when I was doing my externship, I mean, my internship, um, externship, I was, it was an externship. Well, when I was doing my externship, I was doing it for a uh, uh, geriatrics doctor. And I was just in, oh my God, just, I just, oh, I, they were, a lot of patients were very, very fragile and I just didn't want to hurt them. So I was just like, oh my God, can I go work with some kids at a pediatric doctor? But then I was like, no, because them little kids, I don't know, I might hurt somebody. But then I was like, okay, I can work for an OBGYN doctor, but... Mm -hmm. It just didn't pan out in my life like that. So, hey, I'm still thinking about going back because I just want that under my belt. I love, I like the studying of, you know, being a doctor. I like when I was in school and we had to do term words and stuff like that. So, I thought that was cool. Um, but anyway, they, they, Dr. L was, wants to invite them to, she invites them to her, um, She's Persian. I like that, too. She's Persian, but she's end up, she's going to have a, a Persian New Year. So she wants the ladies to come to that. I thought that was really cool. Um, but then um, before that happened, Rachel wanted her to check out her mom's hearing. So she was like, you know, that's cool. You know, 
I set up an appointment for her to come in, and she did. She ended up doing an appointment with the mama, doing some testing for the mama and stuff like that. I thought that was really cool as a friend because then she didn't have to pay for that. And y'all know medical bills are really expensive. So then we have um, Dr. Sean and her husband. Them are funny. They are so funny. When she she wanted to talk, um, take her daughter shopping and they talked about it and he wasn't really down for it because he know when women go to shop, there's no price tag, especially when it comes to your daughter. There's like, oh, she look cute in that, let me go buy it, yada, yada, yada. And he wasn't down for that. And he know what it was going to go down like. And it did. She went and went crazy at the mall. And they tried to sneak them bags in. And he was right there with, uh, right there like, no, no. I said, I bet you she got them. Why you put them over there in the corner? I bet you that little girl got that stuff because she don't look like a bad little girl. So that's what her mama gonna say. Oh, you know she's a good girl. She don't do no bad stuff. So he and he probably sucked her, sucked in and gave her the gifts. But I like they dynamic, like I said. Um. But anyway, let's move on. So Dr. Rachel, um, they end up going. Let's just. I ain't got time for all this. They end up going, because it's running my minutes out and my battery about to die already. So, um, they end up going to Dr. Monica's event first. And she was having an event of the Indian Festival thing. And so they end up going there. And I don't think the ladies, some of the ladies knew what they were in for. Because when they went, as soon as you walk in, they start shooting you with this colorful powder. So you just colorful all day. It's music, it's fun, it's dancing and stuff like that. So then now Rachel is worried that, oh my God, look how we look. And we supposed to be going from here, this colorful event, to Ellie, Dr. Ellie's, Persian um, New Year's celebration. And I'm sitting there like, how this supposed to happen? So they thought it was a bright idea to go through a car wash like thing, a doggy little dog wash and get in this bowl and try to pull rinse off. And I'm sitting there like, will somebody please text Ellie and say they not coming? Please, Rachel, be a friend and say you not coming because this is so wrong to just show up to this girl thing. And that's what they did. They showed up to Ellie's event with her and her sister sitting there waiting on them and stuff. And they at the door waiting on them. And then they come in as a group looking a hot mess. Then come in like it was nothing. And then stay for like two minutes and say, oh, we about to go. Why y'all come? And I'm with her. You could have sent one person in here to represent, and that's it. But that was so disrespectful these, for these ladies to come to her event like that. And then think nothing of it like they didn't do nothing wrong. Because when they got back on the bus, they act like they didn't do nothing wrong. Then Dr. Um, Monica started shading um, Dr. Ellie about her profession. Everybody wants to say, um, say they're a doctor. and I mean, just really going in like her profession isn't nothing because she didn't go to school for a million years. Like, I just didn't understand that. I didn't agree with that. I thought that was very, very wrong. Um, like, I don't like when doctors be like that. She, her, Dr. Monica and Dr. Erica is very snobbish to me that I can't. I like their profession. I like that they help people, but they come off to me like very non sociable people, very non likable, not likable people for real, for real. And I, I just can't, I just can't understand it. But anyway, that's all I got for episode two. I'm about to upload one and two, and then I'll record three and four because my time is about to go out on my camera. So follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto U T H A, not T H E. I love the show. Like I said, I love the, they show that they professional women. And it gives us something that we could be like, oh, okay, okay, maybe it'll help somebody out. Every episode when they show their profession, I feel like they can help somebody out. But I'll be back to talk about y'all. Like I said, I felt like that was disrespectful how the women went to Dr. Ellie's exam. I thought that was really out of line and really cold. All right, you guys, peace.